Quick addendum, in the previous video, I had used the same sighted event for both the player and enemy. However, this causes enemies to glitch out when there are more than one on the map. To fix this, open the systems manager and click on events slash states. Create one more state labeled hero sighted, then go into your hero and change the send event command from sighted to hero sighted. Next, go into your enemy and change the sighted event to hero sighted. That should fix the issue. To create a health bar for the hero, use a third-party image editing program to design your UI and health bar. I recommend making your image 1280 by 720 with a 640 by 480 outline in the middle. Place all the images for your UI within this border. This is due to the way Papermaker stretches out images when using full screen mode. Make the UI and health bar border a single image, then make each pip of health an individual image. You should have around 6 images in total. Now open your systems manager, select the models tab and click on the hero. In the timed event that says zero and off, add a display a picture command. Set its index to negative 10, origin to center and load in your UI background. Add a new property to the hero, label it HP and set its initial value to number and set it to 5. Now find the timed event that says zero and on, add a condition command that checks if the HP property is greater than or equal to 5. Be sure to check the add else when conditions do not apply option. In the top half of the condition, add a display a picture command. Set its index to negative 6, origin to center, and load in the image for the fifth pip of health. In the else section, add the remove a picture command and set its index to negative 6. Now copy the condition we just made, and paste copy underneath. Change the condition from greater than 5 to greater than 4, then change the index for both display and remove a picture from negative 6 to negative 5. Next, change the image ID and load the image for the fourth pip of health. Repeat this process three more times, always increasing the index by one and loading in the next pip of health. Add one more condition at the end, but have a check if the HP property is less than or equal to zero. Add a move object command that changes the hero's speed to stop and wait half a second. Then add the game over command. Add an enemy touch event to the hero, then add a modify property command, reducing the HP property by minus one. Then add a wait command underneath, setting it for one second. This will prevent the player from taking more than one pip of damage per second. Finally, go to the enemy and add a hero touch event. Then add a send event command with the detection ID set to self with the sender can't receive option checked. Next, set event user to enemy touch. Be sure to copy your send event command from switch 1 into switch 2, otherwise the player will take no damage when touching the enemy. Now when the player comes into contact with the enemy, they'll take 1 point of damage until they get a game over screen. Just a quick reminder, if you'd like to help this channel grow, please consider reading my first attempt at a novel on Kindle Vela. Chapters read, likes, comments, and favorites really help me out. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, or leaving a comment down below. This has been Sid from Digital Container, and I hope to see you next time.